Hey guys, well first off, I was, this is not Pokemon related, because we did that already. This is the How to Train Your Dragon update, but the thing is, actually I'll tell you as I'm talking to you. So yeah, here's the first one right here. I'll try to do this as quickly as I can. There's the back. Here's the disc. Just a basic a disc. Right here. Now this one, it came with a double DVD pack when the movie came out in 2010, I think? 2011? I don't remember the DVD day, I just remember the day the movie came out. This thing would focus, thank you. I need like a phone stand so then I don't have to adjust this whole time. But yeah, that came with that. There's the uh, disc. Now these two. Now these two. They came together as well when they came out. They were, here's the back of this one. Here's the back of this one. These are going to be both silver discs as well, just standard. Hold on, let me open this. There. Can you focus? Jeez, it's it's gray, so the reflection gets reflected on it. God, that's ridiculous. Okay. There, you guys can see it. Close enough. There, close enough. It reflected on all the stuff in the boxes or something. Ay ay ay. Picking physics. Okay, here's the TV series right here. Here's part one. Here's part two. Oh, back side of it. Here's part two. Whoops. And the back side right there. I'll get to the disc in a second. Let me get the other parts. Here's. Part one of season two. There's part two of season two. Alright, let me just now. Let me open these two right here. Like I, said, I need a. Like I said, I'll, I'm gonna get a recording stand at some point, but nothing anytime soon. Okay, here's disc one right here. And then there's disc two. Whoops. There's part two, disc one. And then here's part two, disc two. So, speaking of which, guys, and any of you guys watch the TV series? Because the fifth season of Writers, no, Race to the Edge, I'm sorry. Race to the Edge is on, is on Netflix next week. Or, no, this Friday, the 25th. Yeah, it's their fifth season. And they typically have about 14 episodes. Per season, so yeah. There's this one. And then there's this two. Close that. Yeah, I, I tried it and I have seen all the episodes because I can find them online without the need of... Okay. Focus, please. There we go. There's part two, disc one. And if I can flip it... Part two, this two. Okay. But yeah, um, they're supposed to release all this. They should be releasing all the season on you. I don't know why they don't do it. It's garbage. Okay. Then of course you got this one. You know, this was such a great movie. Yep. There's two different discs in here. Get rid of that. This was the bonus disc, which again is exclusive from Target. I haven't looked at it yet, but there's the Blu-ray disc, and then there's the DVD. So yeah, that's that. Let me do this. Whoops, forgot to put this back. Okay. Okay. Now we get into the good stuff. I wanted to get those movies over with. Alright, 
Let's start with these. Because the other stuff will probably go through quickly than the right, shirt. Let me open it up. I was actually packing, getting ready to leave, and I forgot to take these out, so I had to go dig through my, my bags to get it. But yeah, this shirt I um, found it at Hot Topic quite a couple years ago. Really love the design. A custom artist did it. And yeah, still, great shirt to this day. Okay, let me fold it back up. Let me fold it back up real quick. There we go. Now we got this. And here's the other one. I love the look. How he looks like he's grabbing the shirt and looking up at you. Really cool design. Okay, let me pull that up. Get this here. Yeah, I need to put this. Okay, that works. All right, but yeah, going back to the. Um, okay, so as so if you guys watched the previous one, this is the first toothless I ever got, and actually the first piece of merchandise I got, not including the DVDs. I got off Amazon. I for sure it's legit because it does have the tag here, and some of the fake ones have the white tag, so it's a little different. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on these little tags can be difficult, as you saw from the Pokemon video, because that's what happens. Just focus, camera. Focus. There it goes. You got to waver to focus. All right, that's that. Um, let's start with this guy. I'm going in random order. Okay, this was a series. The camera lighting. This was a series, you know, for the dr the second movie release. This is Skull Crusher or Rumblehorn, if you know. Skull Crusher was... He wasn't a main... He wasn't a big part of the second movie, but he was Stoic's dragon. Now, if you watch the TV series, that's he has a different dragon. I'm not going to tell you what, although if you saw the DVD um, a few a few minutes ago... It shows you who he has. Yeah. Okay, this one is one of those, uh, what they call the Botmies, which is what Spin Master. Like, see right here. Yeah, and they make sounds when you hit them or something. Like that. I think he only has one. I think they all have... Hey. Yeah, they only have one. But yeah, they make sound, which I really like. There's... Let's see, are they all in the next... Okay. Here's the next one. Same series. This That was Toodler. This is Hookfang. That's him right there. Here's the tag right there. Yeah. I like the sounds. They're cool. But I don't try to do it all the time because then it just wears out for some reason. Next. Stormfly. This is... Oops. This tag's kind of... There you go. There it is. Hey. Can you... He's not gonna... He doesn't want to talk. Oh. There he goes. He didn't want to talk. For the video. But yeah, good detail. Uh, where's the other one? There's the... The next one... Here's the meat lug. <clears throat> there's the, the sticker tag right there. Yep. Uh -huh. That's meat lug. <clears throat> yeah, and good design. Alright, um, where's the fifth one? Oh, there he is. This is the one that makes a lot of sound real easily. This one's the Terrible Terror, you know, those little dragons, which I love, because, you know, they're a little wild, but they're adorable. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah, yeah, he makes it sound real easily, like, I close my drawers and he goes off, so it's almost like, don't close the door or something, but yeah, that's good. Okay, see, I drop him slightly on the, I like the other ones that don't make sound, and he does. Okay, um, let's start with this one. This guy right here. This is Barf and Belch. This is the same series as the to the first Toothless. You can see the tag right here is cut off. Fortunately, I couldn't get one with the tag, but you know this guy is rare. I actually found him at a Sabres for a few bucks, so I got really lucky. But yeah, he is, as you can tell, good details on the eyes, great expressions. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Ah, uh, I need a space here. See, cleaning constantly. <laughs> Let's start with this one. Hey. Everything's stuck together. Alright. Next, this guy. Now this guy was something, again, found at Sabres. This is from the Live Spectacular, which they did. 
quite a few years ago, as I mentioned in the previous one. You know, obviously it doesn't look like Stormfly. It looks like the dragons they did at the show. And it's still great detail. I like it. And these actually are a little harder to find in person, to be honest. Or, heck, even online, unless you pay a really good price. But it still has the tag, which I like. I really wish this came back. Cause back then, I was in school and I couldn't go see it. There's the back of the tag. Let's see. It came out in 2012. It was 2012. Yeah, jeez. Can you focus? Focus, camera. There it goes. All right, all right, next, let's start with this one. This was another, this was part of the series of Skull, with Skullcrusher was in, the one I showed you earlier. Let's see, there's the tag right there. Yeah, but yeah, Stormfly right there. Here's the, the series again, this is Meat Lug. Looks a little different, but I like it. Focus, there we go. There's the tag. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is Spin Master. They do a lot of merchandise for these movies. Right like that. There we go. Let me get the other one. Where are the other two? There's one. One. There's two. And is that it? Did I miss one? Nope, that's it for that series. Okay. Okay, let, let's do the big, let's do that one last. Okay, so here's the next one. See, there's the tag right there. Spin Master is right up there. Obviously, this is Toothless. He's probably the most recognizable because he's like the mascot of the series. Focus a little bit. Here's the tag right here. Focus, there we go. But yeah, like it. All right, next, this is the same one. It's just a larger one. Now this guy's wingspan is huge. I mean, it's huge. If you, I have to sit up actually so you can see how big he is. Yeah, it's like 23 inches long. You know, because those wings stretch so big. Here, can you focus? There we go. Now it focus. Now you can see the scales. The lighting's a little bit iffy because. The sun's out and it's causing some issues. Again, speaking of which, how many of you saw the solar eclipse yesterday? Because it was cloudy over on my end, but of course the day after the solar eclipse, it's sunny so we could see it. Mother Nature can be a bunch of buttholes sometimes, I swear to God. But yeah, I don't know why the skull's not on here because that's what it shows in the movie, but yeah. Anyway, as I said, it's a good detail and... Like I said, let me know in the comments if any of you saw the solar eclipse. Okay. Alright. Hold on. It's getting a little hot in here. Mm. Next. Let's do this. This is another Spin Master. I don't know what the t Yeah, there's the tag. There's the tag right here. If I can... So you can see it. You can see the year of 2013. There's the Spin Master logo right there. Focus. There it goes. But yeah, this is the one that makes sound as well. This is one of the older ones I have too. I got it quite a few, quite a while back. But yeah. You push his stomach and he has like three different sounds. You have the roar, the weird purr, and then you have, an, you have another one. The simple one. Yeah, it's just those three. Three simple sounds, but I like it. The batteries I hardly use because again... I don't want them to wear out. He's a little dusty. If I, if I can get the camera to focus, you'll see a lot of dust. But, you know, that's just what this kind of material does, unfortunately. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Focus. Yeah, you can see the little speckles of dust. Unfortunately, that's how it goes. But, yeah, that's done. Um, let's get this one. Special editions, which we had a couple years ago. We had... <clears throat> we had these two right here. I'll do them both one at a time. These were the uh, Valentine's Day editions from a couple years ago. I think it, it was... I think 2014? From Brock's Candy, which is like the sweetheart candy. 
It doesn't show the year, but I think it was 2014. I'd have to look. But, yeah. They're, they're actually really soft. They actually have a Mickey fab like the Pokemon stuff do. Let's see. I like the little paw prints. Those little paw prints on his hands. I love those. There's the toes right there. Yep, there's the toes right there. And see, this time, he has it on him this time, which is really... I think it just depends on what time it was made. So yeah, that's... Okay, and there's the tag right there. Alright. Alright. And then, there you have this right here. Really good. I love the details on the eyes. They're just so well done. Oh, yeah, this little bow tie actually came with it, so it was almost like a, it was wrapped as a gift, which is really cute. And there's the tag right there. All right. Let me move these guys over. Let's do this one next. This guy right here, this is Hook Fang. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure he's a bootleg because I got him on eBay for like 40 cents. You know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure because this one's a white tag, all the other ones are blue, so I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg, unfortunately. But hey, I'll take it for now. Let's get this guy next. This is um, this is the Toy Factory editions, which were in claw machines back when the second movie came out. They're actually not too expensive if you look them online, but can't get them. He had a little speck in here, but it's okay, because I got it at Savers again. I've been finding a good amount. Yeah, see, there's the logo. For it to focus. There, now it focuses. And see, there's the Toy Factory. See, not just Pokemon, they do this stuff too. They do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it has good detail, like I said. Like, there we go. All right, I can just put this back in here for now. So I can make room. All right, put that here for just a minute. Okay, next is the one of the recent series for Race to the Edge. This guy, Stormfly, once again. See, Race to the Edge right here. Now, like Again, these are, real, these are really good. Really nice and stuff. Now, I don't know why it says 2015 on there, because these were actually found in 2017. I think it just depends on if you're lucky to get them in your store or something. So, that's probably what happened. Because these were in 2015. Or they were made in 2015, but they never got to stores till later. Who knows? And you got Hook Thing. Right here. There's the logo. You know, good detail. Really soft. Minky fabric, in my opinion. Even whether it is or not. Focus. There's the tag. See, now it's starting to focus a little bit more quickly, which is really funny how it doesn't do it in the past. See, here's Toothless right here. This is the funny thing. Because the lighting is bad in here, Toothless is really hard to see. <laughs> you gotta put them in the light or something. Now, the thing is, I don't know what the difference was for this series, but his tail has this Toothless logo on his eyes, which is really cool. I like it. And they had the red edition too, but I got the blue one because it was different. But yeah, this... But yeah, this is the thing about you. All you see is his eyes. He's like a, he's like the cat I have. You know, all we can see is our eyes that are bright green, which is really funny. All right, all right. And next, this is one of the newer ones. I usually don't get it. Cloud Jumper. Yeah, 
Also, I if you guys, I don't think you've been hearing because it's on a pretty low setting, but I am watching another movie. Yes. I'm not going to any background noise because this one's not going to be as long as the other one, which, as you notice, was like almost no, over 90 minutes. There it is. Yeah, this, I love the detail. Clouds Over is really cool, although not my favorite of all of them. But yeah, the details are really good. Okay, next we're almost done. A few more things and we're done. Well, actually, I got a ton of stuff, but it's, these are really small and hopefully those won't take too long. Let's get the big guys done with. Because the other one's going to go quickly. Mm. Let's start with this guy. These are the this is Build a Bear Toothless. His little tag is down here. Where where is it? Where's his little logo? It's on here. Oh wait, no, this one didn't have it. This one didn't actually have it, because all the new ones have it. That's right. But yeah. It took me forever actually to get this because when they first came out they were selling like crazy. Yeah, what happened was I accidentally cut the tail when I was moving him around something. <laughs> but he's fine. That tape has actually been there the entire time. Which is really interesting, but... But, yeah. But, yeah, look. Yeah, great detail. And he's really soft. And he has these little plastic wings around his shoulder. Yeah. Really good detail. Alright. God damn it. Let's do him next. Okay, next, Stormfly, build a bear. Again, he's a good. You probably just saw the other one. Shoot, here's the other side. Now this time they have the logo down here, right here. There's the logo right there. Good detail. Good detail. Yeah, really good detail. Really soft as always. Okay, put him in here for now. Next. Hook Fang, one of my favorites of the series, you know, because the detail is so good, and I love the bright red color, because red's one of my favorite colors, although I think purple is my all-time favorite, but yeah, he's really soft, see, he's a little easier to see, as you can tell, in the lighting, there he is, little tail, here's the tag, there you go, focus, there we go. But yeah, really, I love them. Pick them up if you can. Same for all these. Oh. Hang on. And then finally, Barf and Belt. Now, Meat Luck has not got one yet. Consi by considering his how he looks, he's on all fours, like kind of like Bulbasaur. I can see why it'd be really difficult to do. So. Yeah, there's a. I don't know why they don't have the Barf and Belch name on the tag, but it doesn't really matter. But yeah. You know, he's huge. Like I said, he's probably my favorite of the series. Not including Toothless. There we go, right there. Little horns. Love the expressions. You have a happy one, then you have like a little mellow one. I don't know which one's Barf or Belch. You know, ask Rough Nut and Tough Nut. There's the logo. There's this. But yeah, again, another really soft one. Pick up these guys, they're really well detailed. A little pricey, but definitely get them. Alright. Hey, quiet. See, they did it again. They're talking with... Alright, next. Uh, let's get these guys last. Or 24. Not as long as I was thinking. I right, know these are the most recent things I got. You know, Spin Master did it again. This is another edition. I think they came out this year, 2017. If I can find the yeah, there it is. You see the 2017. So yeah, these just came out. Like I said, they just keep changing the logos for whatever reason. Once How to Train Your Dragon 3 comes out, then yeah, they're going to have all that stuff. Once again, no uh, little mark on there. Again, it's just strange how they do that, but 
this one has great detail. And again, you can't see him too well because he's black. Next, meat lug. Turn, there's the tag down there. There's the logo right there, or the tag, I'm sorry. Yeah. Good detail. Next, the big head, Stormfly. Yeah, he has a big head. It's like a bobblehead kind of, because his head's kind of facing forward. There's the 2017 logo, Stormfly right there. Here's the back. And then this is probably my favorite, none of them, kind of like the other one. This one, Hook Fang. See, those eyes are just perfect in every way. They give them that charm, don't they? Big, big eyes. Here's the tag right there. Put that like back. Good detail. See if I can get the tag to focus. Focus. There we go, close enough. All right, and finally, this is gonna be the last of the stuff. There's a lot in here, but we're gonna get through them as quickly as possible. Hopefully, hopefully. Actually, before we get to the other stuff, let's do this, because these three are a separate series. Okay. It's these three. These are the water squirters, which were a specific series for the Spin Master Day. So you can see a little hole, but that little sound is you can put water in these guys. And um, they'll squirt water out. Now, all you gotta do, like a lot of toys, is just put them under water and then they'll absorb it. And you can squirt each other with it, like this. Like squirt each other. I love that. This one has a two. The hole, if, if this thing can focus, it's right there. Just focus. You said a little hole below the lip or something? Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, love that. And then Meat Lug. I wish the other ones, like Hook Fang, you can see the hole right there. Hook Fang would have got it and Barf and Belt, but that would have been like a double squirter with Barf and Belt. That would have been great. But yeah, lo love these. These are like a little something else that I like. Alright. Next. Now this is where I'm going to zoom through because I got a lot of these. The figures. I'm not going to do the series order. I'm just going to go. Because this is going to take a little while. Hopefully like five minutes at the most. This is Racing Stormfly figure. I have a little details on it. All the boxes I put in a bag. Because I'm not going to bother putting them in a box. Because they, take, they take too much space. There's one. Next. This is a, a, a special hook thing. You know like. A different color. This is how they get you. They keep making different color patterns for the same dragon. And people love to do that. There's the, there's the back. Next. Here's Terrible Terror. You know, first series, I'm pretty sure from the first movie. There's the, I'm not going to focus on these logos for the, the date. Forget it. Okay, here's 2 plus 1. This one's like more, he's in a cat pose, like, a, you know, he wants to strike. You know how a cat bends on its uh, back or something so he can attack or play? Yeah. That's what this one's doing. And like I said, because it's black, it's hard to see in the light. Or in, in here. Go. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little better in the lighting. Here's the next one. This one's more of just like a little pose. You know, standing up proudly or something. And remember, they don't, like I said, because there's no red on there because of, you know, I think this was made before the second. Or it was made, you know, prior to the plot being revealed at the end or something. Or the beginning, I should say. Here's Billy Wilderbeast. Obviously, this is from the second movie. 
and you know he was probably one of the main uh, dragons associated with the plot I guess you could say or toward the end but yeah good details I like it you know Lola okay next meat lug this is another color pattern it's actually one of the newer ones you know, his little tongue sticking out now I'm he's gonna look the camera he's gonna like the camera look the camera look the camera okay there's the background right there good detail right there <clears throat> got this right here this is skull crusher now he's a little happier in this one than like the other one you know I love this one I'm not a big fan of him actually as a dragon but you know this is why the figures come out because they make really good details of them you know in the form of chibi okay there we go that next probably one of the first ones I got this is like the this is definitely one of the playful ones you know his tongue sticking out and he has his arms up I love this one one of the best figures I have up to close on focus there we, there we go there's the back and see this is what I was talking about this time the logo has it for whatever reason that means so yeah it's weird that's again it's weird that they do this focus please focus okay whatever you guys know what it looks like we got it here's cloud jumper oh, the chibi one right here turn there we go <clears throat> now here's grump now for those of you who know watch the second movie you probably won't know who this guy is if you watch the sec if you do watch the second movie then you know who i'm talking about he was gobber's dragon in the second one and this is why you got to keep up with the series because sometimes the tv series will actually have that kind of stuff speaking of which here's um here's the uh racing meat lug you know i love the little paint on his his uh neck or bottom chin whatever you want to call it and then he has a little pattern right here and then here's the bottom part you know good detail love it here's the uh tornado but just a different co color actually if you want to think about it, if you watch a tv series this is one of the four one of the three dragons in that one episode i don't know who the name was i think it was bang i don't remember which of the three it was bing bang and boom i i think bang was the purple one but i'm not sure but he's under tornado according to the uh, wikipedia page or according to the box or i'm sorry not wikipedia what the frick am i thinking okay now this is tornado now again he's from the tv series writers of work you have to see it to what i know what i'm talking about um uh, good details little happy guy turn it around like that he has little arms right there i like that okay next Alright guys, so as it turns out, the video did get cut off due to maximum size, which makes no sense because I have a big SD card in here, but that's technology for you. Good news is there's only a few things here and it should take less than a minute, but let's get this started. Maybe two minutes. So next is this one. It's the angry toothless. You know, his eyes are grinning like he wants to attack you, but it's funny at the same time because if you've seen the movie, he's funny when he does that. And he's playful, I should say. See, there's the logo on there. Okay, this is the racing hook thing. Now, again, I don't know why, but this is probably the worst of how the pattern is. He has little paintings on his lips and on his wings, but it just doesn't seem as interesting as the other ones because I don't know if it just doesn't match. I don't know, but I like it regardless. Let's get this one. This is racing toothless. I like the idea of the V on his... Uh, face i'm not sure if valka decided that because if you've seen the second movie you know who valka is and uh yeah good detail and finally the last one it took over a minute so i lied rip but i didn't lie by the two minutes this is barf and belch now this is probably one of the least favorite of the figures i have i don't know why they put him yellow he's it doesn't seem to match for me with the yellow and black eyelids you know but they're grabbing their tails and sucking on them, putting their feet up, kind of like they're babies, which I really like. That's a cute idea, but yeah, it's just, the coloration for me was a little weird. I don't know. Maybe it was like they were being born or something like in the, I don't know. Anyway, guys, that will be it. Thank you guys for watching. 
I'm pretty sure that's it. If I miss something, check my DeviantArt. I will be putting um, the big pictures of the Pokemon and Dragons stuff on my DeviantArt as soon as possible. If it's not today, it'll definitely be hopefully tomorrow. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Well, guys. Well, guys, as it turns out that I did forget something, and it was when I was going through all my stuff. So this is the pillow from Target. I'm just going to show you guys real quick. There's the tag right there. Look, the cat's messing around. Leave her alone. Okay. Okay. And move that around. There's the tag right here. Hey, not up here. Busy. And then, yeah, and then that's, that's basically what it was. I forgot. It's not going to be in the big picture, unfortunately. I'm just going to try to Photoshop it in or something. Anyway, guys, sorry about that. This is what happens when you have a lot of stuff.